Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Today I want to run through a problem that deals with predetermined overhead rate, applied overhead, and then what do we do with that applied overhead at the end of the year. So there are three key terms that you need to pay attention to when you're working with um, overhead problems like this. You need to look at budgeted overhead, sometimes this is called estimated, applied, and actual. Okay, these are three separate terms and they all mean something different. Budgeted overhead, beginning of year. This is done before any work is completed. applied overhead this happens throughout the year so as the company is doing jobs they will apply overhead to their jobs and then actual overhead is we figure that out the end of the year And this is what the company actually spends in dollars. Okay, so at the beginning of the year, we're going to estimate our overhead and we're going to calculate a predetermined overhead rate based off of that. Then we're going to use that predetermined overhead rate throughout the year to apply overhead to all of our jobs. And at the end of the year, we're going to compare the applied overhead and the actual overhead to see how close we were. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. ABC Inc. manufactures custom snow plows, very timely for what we just went through in New England. While completing its 2013 budget, the company estimated the following amounts. Budgeted manufacturing overhead. Okay, so notice this is budgeted. Manufacturing overhead, 1,450,000. Budgeted machine hours, 36,000. Budgeted direct labor hours, 190,000. Now notice we've got machine hours and direct labor hours. They somewhere in the problem they're going to tell us which one of these to use so make sure that you look out for that. If you see machine hours and direct labor hours in the same problem you're looking to see which one they're going to use. The next sentence the company uses direct labor hours to allocate manufacturing overhead. Okay so we're going to use direct labor hours. At the end of the year actual direct labor hours okay so here's our actual actual direct labor hours total of 193,000 and actual manufacturing overhead was 1,530,000 okay so I like to go through when I'm doing a problem like this and I actually like to underline different things so that I kinda know what I'm looking for okay so the first thing that I need to do, it says calculate the predetermined overhead rate. Predetermined overhead rate is going to be budgeted overhead divided by budgeted activity. And which activity are we using in this? Well, it says the company uses direct labor hours to allocate overhead. So my budget, budgeted overhead is 1,450,000 divided by budgeted activity. Remember, using direct labor hours, so 190,000. Okay, so my predetermined overhead rate, if we do the math, is going to be seven dollars and sixty three cents we actually come out to seven dollars um, seven point six three one six but if we're rounding because this is money we went around to two decimal places so this is my predetermined overhead rate okay so now I've got predetermined overhead rate now calculate the amount of overhead applied during the year so remember applied 
we're doing this throughout the year. Okay, so what we're going to do with applied is we're going to take our predetermined overhead rate and we're going to use our actual hours. Okay, so we're doing this on a regular basis throughout the year. You know, we could do this on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, but as we know what the actual hours are, we're going to apply it to our jobs. So I'm going to take my predetermined overhead rate of $7.63 per hour and I'm going to multiply that by 193,000 hours. This is one of those problems where you can just keep going with the calculations as long as you've got space. So I'm going to put here $7.63 times 193,000 hours. Okay. So if I multiply these two numbers together, I'm going to get 1,472,590. This is my applied overhead. Okay, here's my applied overhead for the year. So as I've been doing my jobs, I'm adding I'm adding my predetermined overhead rate times the number of hours, adding that all together all year long to get applied overhead. So now I need to calculate the variance. Okay, remember that this applied overhead is based on some estimated figures. Okay, so while the while we're using actual hours, my predetermined overhead rate is all based on budgeted numbers. So we need to make sure that the actual spending is what's reflected in cost of goods sold. Remember, cost of goods sold is direct materials plus direct labor plus overhead. Okay, so right now, this amount is what's sitting in cost of goods sold. Okay, because we've been applying overhead to our jobs all year long. However, that's not what we actually spent during the year. We actually spent one million five hundred thirty thousand. Okay, so this is what needs to be in cost of goods sold, but this is what's in cost of goods sold right now. So we need to compare these two numbers together. Okay, so one million four hundred seventy two thousand five hundred ninety is applied. This is what's in cost of goods sold right now. 1,530,000 is actual. We actually spent. Okay. So what I like to do before I do the math is I think to myself, okay, if this is what's in cost of goods sold right now, and this is what needs to be in cost of goods sold, did I apply too much overhead or too little overhead? to my jobs. Okay, so if I compare applied to actual, well my actual is higher, right? So I don't have enough overhead in my cost of goods sold. So if you don't have enough, that is under applied. Okay, so right now we're under applied. And if we do the math, we're actually under applied by quite a bit. 57,000 for 10. Okay. Now what would we do with this number? Well what we would do is we'd actually adjust our cost of goods sold. So if we're under applied, right, we'd have to add that to cost of goods sold. So let's pretend, let's say that cost of goods sold right now, before the adjustment, we'll say that it is 7,500,000. Okay, just making up a number there. So if my cost of goods sold is 7500000 and it's got this applied overhead in it, that's what's in there now, I need to increase cost of goods sold by 57410 So let's do that. So 7.5 million plus the amount that we are under applied, 57,410, gives me 7,557,410. Okay, for adjusted cost of goods sold. Okay, 
and that's it.